So we've been thinking about our closest star, the sun. And my question for you, our essential question is what patterns can we observe in the sky? So what patterns does the sun have? What does the sun do every day? And it repeats the next day and the next day and the next day. How does the sun have a pattern? Luke A, what's your idea for the pattern? Um, that every single day it's morning and night. That's that the sun. Every single day, the sun causes morning and night. How does it do that? What is the sun actually doing that causes that pattern? What is the sun doing that causes that? Alex? Um, actually, it's the sun that's doing it. It's the earth. The oh. earth spins around and to the other side of the earth. And you know, we're going to be talking about that um, later this week. Yes. Um, what actually causes it to happen. But... So we're not going to say that the sun moves. We'll say the sun appears to move. So how does the sun appear to move? What do you see the sun do? It causes morning and night. What does the sun do? What does it do, Kaden? A giant light morning, but you just can't see it at night. All right. Well, today what we're going to do, boys and girls, is we're going to observe the sun. And we have our sunglasses, most of us, that we brought today. We're going to observe the sun, and we're going to see how does the sun appear to move. 